Welcome to the accommodation information session for students who have applied as a direct entrant to the ANU. This session will cover the next steps and how to accept your offer, key timelines and dates, accommodation preference changes, some information on our residences and life on campus, and lastly, where you can find more information. The next steps. Firstly, congratulations on your early entry application to study at the ANU. It's an exciting time and I'm sure a little nerve wracking too. Remember, we're here to help and guide you through the process and take away any stress or anxiety. The university will also hold a number of information sessions along the way, so please do consider attending these. Ask the questions, speak to family and friends, get as much information as possible. The offers that will be released in September will also provide you with key information. If you have preference Bergman College or Johns College as your accommodation, they will also be in contact with you to talk about the next steps. Accepting your offer. To accept your offer, you will need to log into the application portal where you made your original application. Remember, this is the early entry application portal and not the accommodation portal. Accept all elements of the offer. Prompts will guide you along the way. Please remember to accept the accommodation, even if you are having second thoughts about your accommodation preference. You will have an opportunity at a later stage to change your preference if need be. If you don't accept the accommodation, you will need to apply separately on the accommodation portal when this opens up. If you're thinking about deferring your academic offer to semester two 2023 or deferring to 2024, you will have to reapply for on-campus accommodation. We do not defer accommodation offers. Important dates. Offers will be released on the 5th of September and you will have until the 5th of October to accept. For those students looking to change their accommodation preference, the accommodation services team will be in contact with you during October to explain the process. We will get back to you on the 5th of December with the outcome. Final offers and formal accommodation contracts will be released from the 23rd of December onwards. Remember that the university will close between Christmas and New Year. When we reopen in January, we will commence with the release of further offers. Accommodation contracts will start in early February. Changing your accommodation preference. The accommodation to which you have been allocated will show on your offer. The allocation is based on the available beds and the residential demographic. We will send you more information during the month of October that will explain the process to follow if you're wanting to change to a different residence. There are a couple of key points that you need to remember. Firstly, you would have needed to accept your early offer in full by the 5th of October for us to be able to change your accommodation preference. Secondly, if we're not able to to meet your preference request change, a like-for-like like alternative will be offered. And then lastly, if you're still looking to change to a different residence, you are most welcome to participate in the inter-residence transfer process, which will open up in mid-2023, which will allow you to change to a different residence in semester two. So who are our residents? A little over 6,000 students choose to call ANU campus their home away from home. We have students that are both from domestic and international, from regional, rural and remote regions, as well as major metropolitan areas. We have postgraduate students living in dedicated postgraduate residences, as well as in some of our halls and lodges. Undergraduate students can choose to either live in dedicated undergrad residences or in residences where there are a mixed cohort of undergrads and postgrads. Students with a disability will be supported to ensure that they are allocated to a residence which is accessible. 
noting that students would have needed to have registered with access and inclusion so that we can collectively work together to ensure that they're allocated to the most appropriate residents. A little bit of information about our residences. So the ANU campus is a vibrant community full of energy and like-minded individuals. Our residences are a mix of new and older style buildings, but each residence will offer specific amenities for study and social connections. Some have music rooms, some have rooftop gardens, some have balconies, and some overlook Sullivan's Creek and Black Mountain. We have different styles, different room types, and varying price ranges. At every residence, you'll be supported by a dedicated team who are there to provide you with pastoral care, academic support, and peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. Senior residents are part of the residential leadership. They are fellow students who are there to assist you as you settle in and adjust to campus life. Remember, it's your opportunity to live your best life and to make your ANU residence your new home away from home and make new friends for life. Where can you find out more information? You can call the accommodation services team or you can email them. On our website, we will have some 360 student-led videos and 3D images. You can also follow us on Facebook and, or Instagram. We wish you well. We are looking forward to welcoming you in 2023 and enjoy the experience.